Have you ever noticed this glorious and colorful structure when driving or walking along Carrillo Boulevard? If you answered yes, you might know it as the Chromatic Gate, created by internationally renowned artist Herbert Beyer. Herbert Beyer was probably the most famous internationally known artist to ever live here in Santa Barbara, and most people don't know that. I read in a book somewhere where it said if he had passed at uh, 25, he still would have been one of the most famous artists in the world, simply because of all the work that he did. He did work not just painting and graphics, but typography, architecture, city planning. He really was, people throw around the phrase Renaissance man, he was a Renaissance man. Byer and his wife Joella lived in Santa Barbara from 1976 until his passing in 1985. His design of the chromatic gate was fabricated and installed in 1991. Paul Mills, the director of the Santa Barbara Museum of Art during that time, was a driving force in advocating for this piece of contemporary art to be placed in such a historic city. He came to the studio and we had a room in there that had unrealized works of art. They were, they were drawings, they were rolled up in tubes and he went through all of them. And this one I believe was designed uh, in a competition for the Philadelphia City Hall. It was a plaza in front of it. I think they went with the Moreau instead of Herbert, so he rolled it up, put it in the plans, and Paul came over, found this, and went, this would be perfect. Since being restored in 2000, the chromatic gate has become rusted and accumulated lichen due to its proximity to the ocean. However, with the help of the community, the gate is now undergoing a facelift. Well, it was a daunting task to have to raise, you know, in the neighborhood of $85,000. That, that is what we anticipated the estimate would be for the painting, plus setting aside a significant sum of money for the maintenance fund. I have to credit David Jacoby significantly. He was the first place we went to ask, I said, can we use your, your donation as a, as a match, if you will, to attract other funding? It is the only major international work in Santa Barbara. So it's, it's really our duty to make sure that it's in good shape, uh, that it's going to be restored now, uh, repaired, painted, and brought back to its original beauty of color and chromatic beauty. Because it's so important to maintain the integrity of the artist, restoring a famous piece of artwork does come with a few challenges. We did have a careful examination, but when they started removing some of the paint, they noticed that some rust had creeped over the, under the paint, so they had a lot more sanding to do than they anticipated. Matching the colors has also been one of the most important parts of the restoration process. The statue's been painted twice before, and so we did have the original samples, and um, my biggest job is to make sure that the colors do match, and we've got that down, so we're ready to go. Equally important is to plan for future maintenance of the chromatic gate to avoid the amount of rust and lichen that resulted from a lack of maintenance in the past. We have to have a very stringent uh, maintenance pr uh, program set up and who's going to do it and when and how and yeah and that should make the paint last for many years. The restoration people will leave a notebook that tells us exactly how it should be cleaned, washed, waxed, whatever it is. They'll leave paint behind for any graffiti. I'm hoping there's no graffiti but um, we have to carefully maintain the integrity of it. After its restoration, the Chromatic Gate will shine once again for the visitors and residents of Santa Barbara. It's been an exciting job. It's been extremely challenging. Um, and we're just looking forward to when it gets unveiled and we see it in the light that Herbert Beyer um, envisioned.